In this video, I'll show you how to load the ink bottles inside of your Epson EcoTank ET2400. This also works with many other EcoTank models that are looking just like this one. So let's get started right away. So step number one is to open this cap over here simply by pulling it out in this direction. Now, one thing that I need to mention is that you need to refill your printer as soon as the ink drops below the last bar over here. The last bar has a small arrow and I really suggest you refill it even before that because then your printer could get damaged. So this printer has a separate ink tank for each color. Let's start by refilling the black ink. Open the blue cap. You just need to put your finger here and snap it off like this take your black ink color and it's very hard to mix them up the color is written over here so we have black yellow magenta and cyan now what we need to do is to place this bottle upside down right over the nozzle over here the bottle is made that it limits the spillage if there is any so let me do it and you see there is no ink flowing out of the bottle until I plug it and then what you need to do is to simply uh, press it firmly on the printer like this and you'll hear automatically the ink dropping in the tank now you may not see but over here the ink level is going up and you do not have to touch anything just let it refill itself if it stops when it's not fully refilled you can simply wiggle the bottle left and right until it restarts usually it takes about 25 seconds 30 seconds to fully refill the ink tank all right it's now full and the bottle has stopped refilling there is still a bit of ink inside and again do not worry you won't spill it if you remove the bottle like this now it's time to place back the cap. This is very important so the ink does not dry out. And by the way, there's not a lot of ink left, maybe this much, but still, it's still usable. You can still probably print a few hundred pages with it. I suggest that you store your ink bottle somewhere dry and out of the sun. Okay, so now that we finished with the black one, we can simply close the cap, press on it until it clicks like this and open and do the same exact thing with the next one now it's the yellow now you see i placed the yellow bottle and nothing is happening i just had to wiggle it slightly and the refill started do not squeeze the bottle it's not recommended to do it all right i can remove it Close this, open that one, now it's the magenta. And when we close the bottles, make sure they click at the end. This is how you know that you close them properly. And the last one is the cyan. There's no right or wrong way to place it. You can place it like this, or if the bottle is the other way, it's fine. It's also fine. You just need to make sure that these prongs over here goes into these holes. You can now close this lid. After you finish putting the ink inside of your printer, you'll need to keep this button over here pressed during five seconds. And then the printer will start taking the ink out of those tanks and it will take about sometimes 10 minutes uh, to do the full setup. You do not need to touch anything. Once you press five seconds, this button, you're going to hear the printer doing its thing. Just let it finish and in 10 minutes, you'll be able to use your printer again. Thanks for watching. If you want to get some of these ink bottles from Amazon, please check my affiliate links in the description down below. This is, the, this is a great way to support my channel. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.